Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Windows Avalon RTM. In the past month or two, we've taken a look at a previous version of Windows Avalon, but many of you have recommended to me and actually asked me to take a look at the RTM version. We took a look at a pre-release beta build, but now recently, within the last week or so, the developer has made the RTM, and I'm very excited to see what changes this what changes RTM brings to the Avalon project, and generally how the operating system feels now that it's out of beta. If I recall correctly, I really did like the beta version of Avalon, so I'm very excited to get into it and see what happens. This is a modified build of Windows 10, so I'm very excited to see how they changed Windows 10 and what this brings. Alright, and here we are on the setup screen. So we can see that the background has a nice blue gradient theme here with kind of rays coming down from the top and the Windows 7 slash Vista logo. A uh, very similar theme here in the actual setup screen, uh, the window, and then we have copyright 2005 Microsoft. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click next and install here so that we can get this OS installed. Uh, this is asking us to enter our product key. Um, notice down here that the start and install text is so much bigger than it usually is in Windows 10. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and skip the product key because we don't need one for this instance. And then it should ask us to select what disk we want to install this uh, OS to. But first we have to obviously accept the license agreements where it does say Windows Avalon. So they did actually change the EULA. Let's go ahead through custom install onto drive zero. Hit next and here we go. One thing I've noticed that I didn't hint on is that all the text is actually centered. Um, typically with Windows it's kind of pushed its left side. Uh, but in this build it's centered. So I'm going to let this install and we'll be back once we're either in the desktop or the out of box experience. Alright, and here we are on the desktop of Windows Avalon. The only thing I've done is I installed VMware Tools, as you can see down here. But other than that, everything else is stock. So let's take a look by default what's on the desktop. We have our recycle bin that did take a while to open, but we can see those custom window borders here. I actually do like it. It's more of a, it's still rounded, but it's more of a squared off window border. And I really do like this arrow glass, especially the fact that it, you can see like right through to the desktop background. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Uh, look at that animation. Uh, it kind of pops in and then when you close it, it pops out. We then have the README folder, which is the rudimentary README file now in WordPad for Windows Avalon. Um, here is some change logs and then some bugs and issues that we do in fact know about. Uh, credits to, I don't know if that's supposed to say everyone or just that one if that's someone's username. But regardless, let's go ahead and move on. And here is the how to share feedback button. Let's close that and bring our attention to the right side of the display where we have our widgets bar where we can drag widgets out onto the desktop. Pretty cool. I am noticing that some of the widgets are hanging like off of the widget bar, um, especially these two. It's not like they're kind of embedded in the bar. Down on the taskbar, we have our system time, our volume mixer, we have our network settings, we have gadgets. Uh, USB, Bluetooth, VMware tools, and then we have Windows Media Center, which kind of looked like Windows Update at first. Over on the left side of the taskbar, we have Windows Media Player, which does appear to be an older version. Yep, Windows Media Player 11 for Vista. We have Internet Explorer, which is probably just Firefox, I would imagine. Let's see, does it say? I don't believe this is actually Internet Explorer. This is probably some theme, uh, but I can't seem to get like a any about browser things so well, I guess we'll never know on that one we then have our desktop button and then our show desktop button here when you click this you can actually get a feel into Windows 10 uh, we can see that we can create multiple desktops but that appears to be broken in Avalon let's go ahead and open our start menu and we can see here that it does look different from what we see in Vista not too different but different enough uh, to say the least we have internet email welcome center um, which I believe is yep custom to Windows Avalon but themed around Vista and 7 we then have media center Windows ultimate extras so it was built to be a ultimate kind of I don't say clone but built off the ultimate package of Windows Windows photo gallery Windows movie maker Windows media player Windows live messenger DVD maker and collaborations then in the all settings you can see all the settings including Windows anti spyware which is actually something I feel like I should have heard of before Oh, it's just Windows Defender. I could not tell you if it was actually called Windows Anti-Spyware at one point. Uh, but let's move on from that. 
um, a lot of applications I don't think I've actually ever seen before. Uh, moving down into maintenance, typical things in maintenance, accessories, nothing out of the ordinary here, uh, extras and upgrades that comes with the ultimate packages, games, let's see, there we go. Uh, I've never actually heard of Microsoft Tinker. Um, we'll have to take a look at that in another video. Um, Hold'em is in here, Inkball, I mean a lot of good games in here including my favorite from the era, Purple Place. And then in Startup we have Windows Media Player Sys Tray in Startup just so that it can kind of run in the background I assume because we do see that icon in the taskbar. Moving over here we can see that our username by default was user, we did not get brought into an out of box experience. Moving down, we then have library, documents, pictures, music, games, recent items, computer, network, control panel, program defaults, printers and faxes, and help. Taking a look in our computer, we can see that we are running Avalon, copyright 2005. It thinks it's activated, even though we skipped the product key, um, and we can close out of this. Let's go ahead into the computer, which is our file explorer, and we can see our local disk right here that we're using 17.3 gigs on a 59.8 gig disk, which means we have 42.5 gigs free. Typical Windows 10 installation. Let's go ahead and take a look in our task manager here so we can get a feel for what our CPU and RAM usage is. Um, so we're using 7% of the CPU. And then I find this interesting. It actually says page file usage. It doesn't show RAM usage where it typically does. You can see the physical memory details here. I find it strange that it shows page file usage and not actual RAM usage, but that is interesting. With that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows Avalon. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below, and recommend me any other operating systems that you want me to take a look at. I love having my videos be community themed, so let me know if there's any custom ISOs that you want me to take a look at. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.